Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share a recent addition to my Composer Tool Belt, and that is this Moleskine Music Notebook. So I'm Carlos, I'm a music student and a composer from the Chicago area. I share tips and insights on leading a more productive life as a musician. So this notebook has been really useful for jotting down quick musical ideas or even writing whole compositions. Now this notebook has about 200 or so pages of blank staff paper uh, and on the left hand side it's actually completely blank. Um, so as you can see on this page it's blank, this side actually has the staff paper that you can write music notation on. Uh, and the purpose of the other page is to write down you know, handwritten notes, you can you know, make diagrams, and if you want you can also create new, sta uh, I guess create new staves is what they're called uh, with this music ruler that they added. So I'll show you what that looks like. If we can focus. There we go. Yep. <laughs> music ruler right there. So I was given this recommendation by Alicia Ann on her holiday gift guide on her channel so please check her out. And it's just really quaint to have a little notebook like this where you can just bring around in your backpack and just jot down ideas if you if they come to mind. Uh, and even I did some of my uh, music theory homework for college on here. So it's all purpose, it's great, um, and I love it so far. So my previous workflow was using this How Leonard, you know, cheaply made uh, staff paper book, and it's great because you can tear off the pages pretty easily, and there's just a lot more space. Um, and I probably still will use this uh, for you know, larger compositions, but it's not what I'm gonna bring around portably. You see, I've always lugged this thing around, and it's just too big when I'm, you know, at the park, or just wanna write down an idea in, in the car. It's really impractical for me to pull out this big, you know, letter-sized notebook when I could just pull out this little, cute little tiny journal and just, you know, jot down my ideas there. And I'm not too picky with the writing utensils I use. I just use this Pentel mechanical pencil that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it has a 1.3 millimeter uh, lead thickness and that's, that's a little bit bigger than, you, than I usually am used to. I used to use like 0.5 millimeters, um, but this one gives extra, you know, thickness, extra weight to the uh, to the, the, the strokes I'm writing and then it's easier to write notes and uh, all those sorts of things when it comes to music notation. And I always want to have a, uh, I guess an external, um, let's see if I can get that in focus, I always have an external um, eraser of choice and this is another Pentel product and apparently I like Pentel a lot so I'll leave those in the links below including this notebook. And I'll get a small kickback from Amazon if you use that link, so thanks for supporting me. But just in general, it's just been super useful just to sling around, and I, I've just been using it for a few days, and I've found massive value, and I've just been motivated to write in it just because it's so quaint and just a joy to write on. So if you'd like to recommend products that you use in your own Composer Tool Belt, uh, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment section down below. And again, I'll link these products in the description if you want to go pick one up or for a musician for the holiday season. So anyways, if you don't know me, I'm Carlos. I'm a composer from the Chicago area, and I'm creating insightful videos on composing and productivity. So if you'd like to support me and if you're into that niche topic, go ahead and subscribe. And please share my channel with another musician friend. Well anyways guys, thanks for watching and keep writing.